last time on Final Fantasy IV, we made our way beyond the sealed door, down to the Dark Crystal, the very last crystal not under Goldez's control. After a fairly tough journey, we managed to get there and get the crystal, only to have Jeff take it from us at the very last second and take it back to Golbez. Whether or not he's still under Golbez's control is yet to be seen, but, um, I want to check out what the king here has to say first. I'm sure he's not going to be too pleased with the news. In fact, let's not even talk to any of the other dwarves just yet. We'll tell the king directly. Welcome back! Now let me see... Um, your highness, I'm afraid that, um, Golbez has the crystal. What? They gathered all of the crystals? Now we are truly finished. Unless the legend of the big whale comes true. The big whale? It's a huge ship spoken of in legend. It says, one to be born from. My city in legend. You know my city? It is the home of wizards on the upper world. So that means my city does exist. The elder of my city is now wishing in the tower. I wonder if he's intending to... He must be intending to call the big whale. That must be his intention. You must now hurry to my city. But the way to the upper world has been closed. And we can't get close to the Tower of Babel. You know what? Let me take care of it. Chili! You're awake. We've got to attach a drill to the head of the falcon so you can dig your way out. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, Chili, but if you think it'll work, I guess we can try, but you're still hurt. Bah, it doesn't matter. You think you can do it? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm Chili, the master engineer of all airships. Right, now let's remodel it again. Because if there's one thing this game has a fetish for, it's airships. A big drill, huh? I don't know about this. Plus, I'm not really ready to leave yet. I kind of want to go to the land of summoned monsters. What are you doing, Prince? Quit flirting. We've got work to do. Damn it, old man. You two quit bickering back there. Hey, Golbez has the crystals. Oh, nut shots are cheap, you bastard. Right. So is it ready? Of course it is. Now... Ugh, oh, Chili! He's gonna work himself to death at one point. Chili, you better take care of yourself. <laughs> I may have already served my term. Seems like I can't be of much use anymore. You know what? I take my hat off to you. You better get well soon, Chili. You guys look after Plump and Paige. Don't worry, and I'll just rest... Wait, don't worry, old man. You just rest here. Take care, guys. You too, Chili. Now go. You have no such time to waste on this old man. Thanks, Chili. We'll tell your daughter on the surface that you're fine. People from the upper world aren't that bad after all. He really put on the drills. He's great. Of course he is. He's the master engineer. He doesn't screw around. Doesn't have time to screw around. Okay, I want to go see what the king has to say real quick. 
Lolly ho, I'm happy you're okay. Even if you did lose the crystal, you big losers. Okay, king. Go to Mycidia. You hold the future of us all. I guess we do. See, I really want to go to the world of monsters. The land of summoners, or whatever that place was called. But I don't know if we have to come, if we have to go back there later. That's the thing. And I hate backtracking. Look at that drill. <laughs> okay. Let's check this place out. Um, I think it was through here. It's gotta be. I'm gonna save it. Just check out this place. I came here on my way from the land of monst of summoned monsters. Let's ask them for help. Yeah, okay. If we try to walk through here, we'll take damage. A lot of damage. So... Yeah, cast it on everyone. There we go. Now we're talking. The only question is, how long is this dungeon? Cure 2... How many monsters am I going to run into? A life. And this looks like a secret. Oh, yeah. And an either. It's pretty good, I guess. I was wondering where the monsters were. No, run! I guess we'll see how dangerous this place is. Wow. No, that's really not too bad damage-wise, because those were our healers. So, of course they're going to take more damage. You know what? Just use my cures here. I'll save my cure twos, just for an emergency. Or until I run out of cure ones, that is. Whatever. That'll work. Now, hopefully, whenever I make it here, we don't ever have to come back, but I can't make any guarantees. Could be doing a whole lot of exploring for no reason. And of course, Golbez has the crystals, and we could be wasting valu valuable time. Damn it. It didn't last very long at all. Hmm. What are you, you delicious looking chest? Oh really, a hooligan. I think we can take him. Maybe. Unless he's got some strange tricks up his sleeve. Even though he doesn't really have sleeves, does he? There we go. And the experience sucks. After the experience I was getting from those doors, everything is going to look pretty crappy. Okay, heal you. Heal you, there we go. So Cure 2 does about 600 points of healing. No. Sorry, sexy spider lady. We don't have time to fight monsters. The world is in danger. And, yeah. I don't even have a full group anymore. I wonder who's going to fill that position, if anybody will. Ah, so close. Um, no. Tempting to fight a conjurer, but I'm sure that it's going to start summoning things on us. Hey, look, I can see something down below. Looks like wood floors or something. There we go. Okay, maybe we don't have too far to go down here. As long, I was just going to say, as long as it's not a huge dungeon like the sealed cave that we just went through, I'd be kind of happy. Ooh, a switch up there. And a secret. Um, I wonder. I can see a secret path down below. Aha. Yeah, you can see it pretty easily there. What does this do? Oh, brings us here. Tina, you came back! Wonderful. At least they're friendly here. 
2,000 gold. You're the first humans to visit here other than Tina. I don't really want to step on that teleporter just yet. I want all of this stuff. 2,000 gold piece. And see, that's an amazing background technique there. I'm probably going to try to use that in Fall of Atlantis somewhere, too. We are the monsters, and this is our world. Callers can summon us to your world. Oh, really? That's interesting. 3,000 gold. Our king resides deep in this world. So... Do you, any of you recognize us? Have we summoned any of you before? Okay. Hey, there's a chocobo. I bet you it recognizes us. A rat's tail. Pretty sure that's for Tina to equip. It replaces the chain here. Or maybe not. I don't know what the rat's tail does. I thought it was a whip. Cannot use it here. Hmm. Unfortunately, there's no item descriptions, so you can't tell. Hi, Tina. Welcome back. Hey, you. Come here. Come. Come hither. Hi, Tina. What? Is it strange if I talk here? All chocobos can talk. We just pretend not to. Silly humans. What an interesting place. Life potions, cure, tents, heals, ethers. Hello. No, I don't want to spend the night. It's way too expensive. You guys playing poker? Titan is only a blockhead if you can... Wait. Titan is only a blockhead if you can use the magic spell of float. Chocobo, Shiva, and Indra, they all live here in the land of summoned monsters. I guess Jin is burning as usual, huh? Just don't call him Ifrit. He hates that name. A bomb. Better not talk to him. He might have a chip on his shoulder. Tina, don't leave again. Oh, sorry, but she has to. I could save it here. In fact, I better. Because we have no idea, at least I don't, what's in store for us. Are all of the monsters down here friendly? What about you? Tina, glad to see you back. Hey, Tomato. Tina! Oh, are you, these your friends? They're not mean humans, are they? This is the library. Why don't you study for a bit? Okay. Hey, naming way. Shh, be quiet. This is a great book. One must be strong in body and mind to pass the cave leading to the world of humans. The history of our land traces back to the past when humans didn't even exist. The art of summoning. Now there are only a few humans left alive to wield this power. Right now I think it's only Tina. Titan, the king of giants. His power can crack the earth and most foes will be swallowed into it. Jin, the burning master. His flame is said to consume everything it touches. Legend tells us of the art of summoning unbeknownst to all. Okay. Indra is slow to anger, but when he does, his wrath will strike down offenders with a terrible lightning. Shiva, the queen of ice. Those who anger her will be frozen to the bone. Chocobo is the best of the summoned monsters, as far as quickness of flight and cuteness, of course. Not to mention you can make a hell of an omelet with their eggs. Do you have literature in the world of humans? You guys do read, right? The law. True strength lies in the just mind. Test a caller before you answer the summon. Sylphs, the gentle frail. They can unite their power together and unleash a potent magic. Odin, a knight with a sharp blade. He was beaten only once when lightning struck his sword. There are countless books here in this library. You will never find it boring. Our master. Referred to by humans as the master of oceans, he is a ruler of might. Ashura, our queen. She is the queen of our master and the gateway to his audience. Those who beat her will be able to see the true form of our master. I assume they mean Leviathan. The two moons, 
It is said only one moon shone upon the primeval earth. Our true master, the king of the summoned monsters, created us. He watches over us from afar. The only way to beat him is to reflect back his power. So far, though, no one has succeeded. Okay, so there was only one moon around this planet at one point, so where did the second moon come from? Long ago, a great whale descended from the moon. It is sleeping inside of a dragon now. Summoned monsters, humans and monsters. From where they came and where they go, we cannot know. Interesting. Hang on, your highness and people there. Callers. Wizards with the power to summon monsters of the righteousness. Not evil, dirty monsters. This is the room for the king and queen. You need Queen Ashura's permission to talk to the master. Queen Ashura! Glad to see you again, Tina. We need your help, Queen. Please help us. I am willing to. But first I must see your worthiness. Do you have enough courage and power to challenge me? No, I don't think we do. We might have to come back here later, but we'll try for now. Then we shall see. Okay. Well. That is not a good sign. Let's see what you can steal from the queen. Hmm. Apparently the queen's not going to be fooled. Oh boy. Oh wow. One hit kills? We are so screwed. Got multiple faces, multiple forms of healing and attack, no doubt. And I don't even have a full party right now. Well... Okay, let's try a Blitz. Bomb Rusher! Or die. That works too. Pretty sure these are like bonus monsters that you can fight if you're good enough. And obviously at this point, I am not leveled up enough. Okay... Are any of these elemental attacks going to be useful? Most likely no. Now, there is a chance I might be able to run her out of magic or something. Whoops, I did not want to cast magic. Can't run. Cowards, you dare challenge me and then try to run? Fools. I don't know why she casts life. Unless she can bring herself back, which maybe she can. God. We haven't done any damage to her. She can heal it all. Okay. I might just let myself die here in a minute. Because we are not prepared for this. Yeah. Plump, you die. Everyone, get ready to die. Variax. I want you to commit seppuku here. We have shamed ourselves by challenging the queen whenever we were not even close to being prepared. That's why I wanted to save it in that house up there. Oh, you're gonna see the game over screen. Holy crap, this is... I guess this is a good enough place to see the game over screen. Queen, are you going to attack us or not? Quit healing yourself. You're not even hurt. Come on. There we go. It's more like it perished. Man. There is no game over screen. It takes us right back to the menu. I'd forgot about that. Okay. So don't challenge the queen until you are way more badass than I am. Let's see what weapons they have here. They have weapons and armor shop. You have to beat Queen Ashura to be able to even speak to the king. I'm guessing that's not happened very often. The king must be a lonely person. Can you humans use our weapons okay? I don't know. Oh, it's you, Tina. Welcome back. Give us a discount. 
Okay, whip chain, blitz, wow. A hundred thousand? Longsword for a hundred thousand? Charm staff, lunar staff, charm arrows? I think I'm gonna save my money. Interesting though. Of course, all the items in this game are really expensive because they want you to grind for them. You obviously don't have to grind to beat the game. Well, I can't say about beating the game, but to get this far, we haven't really had to grind yet. This world is ruled by the Master of Monsters, and we have a queen named Ashura as well. I don't like humans walking around in a place like this. Tina, get them out of here. We just want to live in peace. Okay, we'll let you live in peace. An Aegis Shield. Hmm. I will buy that. The legendary Aegis Shield. Hmm. Not that legendary in my opinion. Not really worth the price. Oh well. So how do we get down below? I see all those delicious treasures there. But... I haven't seen another teleporter. It's probably hidden somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to beat the queen or king to get down there, so whatever. I guess we're done here. A nice little detour, but ultimately, um, this is a place you should come once you're stronger. And once you've got a more fleshed out group. Because I am down a member, which is not good. Should have came here whenever we had Jeff, even though... Pretty sure we still would have got our butt kicked. Okay. I do, however, want to try to get to... The secret area. Go this way. Aha. Uh -huh. No. Well, I might die again. I don't know. There we go. Like, I don't know what those things can do, but I know they have magic. Come on. These things are evil, too. Might as well be called evil eyes. Uh, well, good night, Paige. Have fun taking a nap. I really hope that whenever I cast Exit, that it actually allows me to leave this place. And more importantly, that it takes me to the entrance of this cave and not back to Monster City. Monsters! Oh, really? I was not expecting to run into this many. How about... Call Titan on him. Damn, I did not see that Plump was almost dead. I did not see that Plump was dead. Bastards all gang-banging him. Um, let's see. How about a Blitz on all of them? Plump, actually don't even bother healing yourself. There we go. Still didn't do enough damage to kill that first one. Oh yeah, beautiful. Finally, a summon comes in useful. Plump gains a level, Variax gains a level, Tina gains a level. And what did we get? A defense sword. I'm gonna guess that that has really crappy attack. No? Wow. Okay. I think we will use it then. And... There we go. So, just a few more chests to get down here. And then... Provided I can even find my way to them. Then I'm gonna test out Exit. Please take us to... the entrance to the map. Wow, there's even a path up there. Cure 2, Poison Axe, and a Ninja Sword, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, 124. 
He pulls ahead in attack power again, I believe, right? Yep, just by two points. It's a competition, even if you think it's not. Okay. Let's see if this works. Please, to the surface world? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's a bonus place, I guess, kind of. I don't think you ever have to... They ambushed us on the ship. I don't think you ever actually have to beat the queen. Or even talk to the king, but I'm going to, eventually. Come on. You... Bastards. Man. Just so impolite. Okay, so obviously we can't go to the Tower of Babel. It's glowing. Uh-huh, they must have sealed it off, huh? And this is where we go up. Another earthquake. Crazy. I wish that place would make up its mind if it wants to be sealed or opened. Tired of all these dust storms. Hello, my city. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna save it again. Even though it hasn't even been a minute. There we go. Elder! We have been waiting for you. Quickly, come to the Tower of Wishes. Okay. That's where I was headed anyways. Another prophecy, huh? One to be born from a dragon, hoisting the light and the dark, arises high up in the sky to the still land. Veiling the moon with the light of eternity, it brings another promise to Mother Earth with a bounty and mercy. Wish, everyone! The legend shall come alive now. But you must wish with all your heart. What legend? What are you guys talking about? Oh, boy. What have you guys done? Careful what you wish for. Look, everyone, our wish. It's been granted. Did you wake Leviathan up? Is he going to destroy your town now? No. What is it? That is, the ship of light from the moon. The big whale. What? That's a ship. Well, that's interesting. While wishing, I heard a voice calling you to come to the moon. Someone awaits you there, Plump. The moon? But how? The big whale is the ship from the moon. It works like an airship, but when going to the moon, you need to talk to the crystal of flight to voyage between the moon and the earth. What? I guess we'll just have to go find out then, huh? Wow. Now this is more like an airship. What did I do? I pressed a button. Wow, this thing is massive. Um, how do I... I guess I can't actually go back. Okay. So, there we go. Okay, so that's the controls. So if I talk to this crystal, that'll take us to the moon. What are these? Cryopods. Kind of. Innertrons. We have a good night's rest. 
We're still hungry. Let's go. No way, we got our own big chocobo? It's amazing. The dreamer's loot. Okay. Huh. You know, I, I want to try something. I don't think this thing can land in forests, but I want to see if we can go back and um, possibly talk to Slaxer. It's been a while since we've seen him. Chili would probably, probably poop his pants if he saw this airship. Can it land in the forest? No. I'm pretty sure it's too big to land there. We're sorry, sir, but your SUV cannot fit. Whoops. I'm gonna try a little bit more, though. Come on. Holy crap, it did fit. I, I can park anywhere. Don't ever doubt my parking abilities. I'm a master parker. Okay. Slaxer, we brought you a legendary loot. I'm not an old maid. How dare you? Wah. Okay. Please keep quiet. He's sleeping here. Hello, Slacks, my man. Oh, Calrod, man. I wish I could do better. When are you guys gonna fix him up? Are you purposefully keeping him ill? That way you can have royalty staying in here? You know what? I don't really feel bad for him because honestly, he is staying here with uh, seven other royal members. So I'm sure they're taking really good care of him. We're eight actually. If the rumor is true that there are more than four crystals, we still have a chance. Yeah. You guys haven't heard the news, have you? We are all in a crisis. They've not been kept up to date, okay? They don't have the internet. There's no such thing as phones. I haven't seen any messenger pigeons either. So... Let's not tell them the bad news that Golbez has all of the crystals. And... Let's go to the moon, shall we? There's a crystal in here. One crystal that Golbez doesn't have, apparently. It's interesting. To the moon we go! Oh yeah. Is this the moon we want to go to though? Wow. So what do we have there? Some type of palace? Some type of cave right there? This place is actually pretty small. In fact, it looks like the whole map can be fit on this screen right here, basically. So, there's something there, I think. There's another cave. Let's see. Gonna explore just a little bit. That music. Better get used to hearing that. What the hell? Come on. Are you speaking your moon language at me? I can buy stuff from Cure 2s, either. I can buy elixirs. Who has that much money? A whistle? Um, let's buy a whistle. I don't know what it does. We are the Hummingway family. Hummingway? What do you guys hum for? I had a friend who was very good at making up nicknames, but he went to the Blue Planet long ago. We've met him. He looks just like you guys. Interesting fellow. Changing name? What is it? We don't change names here. You guys are weird. But... I want to see what this whistle does, if I can even use it. Here, whistle, whistle. I can call the big chocobo at any time. Did that use my whistle up? Oh man, I better not have. Oh, what a...
what a waste of money. Oh, wow, that's ridiculous. Okay, whatever. I could reload, but no. I was stupid. I'll pay the price for my stupidity here. That's just how it goes. If I talk to the crystal, I'll go back to Earth. So, see all those little ramps on the hillside? I wonder... looking around. So we can either go to this place, which is some creepy tower. We can go to this place, which is some cave. Maybe. Can I land here? Yeah. Well. I don't know what's in store for us here, but we're gonna find out. I'm surprised we can breathe here. That's amazing. Where's our spacesuits? Cave Bahamut. No. I don't think so. I'm sure Bahamut even makes Leviathan look like a shameful toy. So, I might actually have... At some point, I'm going to have to do some off-screen grinding. I can just s sense it already. Okay, where do I land? There has to be some place smooth I can land. Actually, it probably wants me to land out here and then walk in. Damn you, game. Why you gotta do stuff like that? No, you may not land on the craters. Hmm. I'm gonna continue to try to cheese this for a few moments here. Primarily because I know that there's random battles on the world map here. Hey, there's a cave there, too. Okay, can I... What if I can walk through those rocks to my left? I'm probably going to be ending the video before I do any exploring, too. Ah, oh, damn, I can't go through there. Well, that is highly inconvenient. So... There's, a, there's actually multiple caves. Cave there, cave there... I might be able to get into the cave to the south. Yeah, to my south or something there. No, because there's mountains in the way there, too. Well, for all of our fancy new airship that we've got here, spaceship, I guess, it doesn't do me a whole lot of good, does it? Can't get through there. I could land up here, actually, couldn't I? If I could, yeah, because there's a ramp there. So, if I was an evil game designer, I would say land up here, walk down, and then go into the cave there. And now I'm going to have to bounce around through a whole bunch of caves in order to find the right path. Oh boy. I'm just going to take a peek in here. The lunar path. You know what? I am just going to save the game, and um, whenever we come back, we're going to start walking along the lunar path and see where we have to go. I will probably become lost for quite some time. Oh boy, this will be fun.